Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my August favorites and it's hard to believe that August is almost over and that the summer is winding down here in South Florida. Um, actually, it's not really winding down. It's been still very hot and humid and will probably continue to be that way for the next month or so. But um, I am in my usual mindset of kind of getting ready for fall and um, it's kind of disappointing, I guess, that I'm not really going to experience fall in all its beautiful glory, but we will definitely be taking some trips up north um, to see some of the changing of the leaves and things that I absolutely love about fall. Um, and I am excited for any little bit cooler that, um, you know, mother nature will bring to us here. So anyway, I'm excited for that. And so I thought I'd just share some of my um, August favorites, um, starting off as usual with beauty. And the first favorite I have is something that I kind of just treated myself to. Um, it's a face oil from Chanel. This is the, I'm going to say this totally butchered, but it is the oil de jasmine. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is just a face oil with jasmine, which is one of my favorite scents. It is super like relaxing and lovely and something I like to put on at night after I have cleansed my face instead of my usual kind of skincare routine. Sometimes I will just go for a face oil and um, I've had many face oils in the past that I have used, but this is the first one that has a little bit of sort of aromatherapy at the same time. And so I've just really been loving it. Very luxurious experience. And they also sell a body oil, also a little bit um, pricey, but probably well worth it for the experience. If you're someone who really enjoys a little luxury um, as you're winding down, I think this is a, a easy way to treat yourself. So I may, for my birthday or, um, maybe even the holidays, purchase the body oil to go along with this. And so yeah, that's my first favorite for the month of August. My next favorite for the month of August are my cheek colors from Merit Beauty. And I say cheek colors because I have been waiting for so, so long for them to restock the Raspberry Beret, which I was finally able to get my hands on. It's absolutely beautiful. My apologies for any other face products you can see on there. Um, but the reason I say favorites is I had been holding out so long for this, so excited to get my hands on it. And in the meantime, I had one in the shade Mood that I had been using. And now that I have them both, Mood is just a little bit deeper and a little bit of a warmer tone. I actually prefer the Mood even more so than the Raspberry Beret, but they are both beautiful. This one is just a little bit brighter, but I think because I have so much color in my skin right now, um, the Mood, there's something about it. I have it on today. It's just one of my favorite colors um, to wear on my cheeks, and maybe I've just gotten used to wearing it. I don't know, but I love the formula of both of these. Um, for those who are not familiar with Merit, they are a clean beauty brand. Um, they only make about like seven products and it's kind of for like a very minimalist approach to makeup and I've been really enjoying everything that I've tried from them but in particular I love the formula of this it's so easy to apply straight from um, the little package and you can just blend it in with your fingers or with a brush um, it leaves a little bit of sheen on your face um, it makes your skin look really healthy and so really been loving those. My next favorite comes from another clean beauty brand that I am obsessed with, which is of course Jones Road Beauty, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown's beauty brand. I'll try to say that four times fast. Um, and this is her Miracle Balm, which is my favorite product um, of everything that I've tried from Jones Road Beauty. So when I saw these two new colors coming out, I had to try them. The first one is called Sunkissed, and this is a beautiful sort of, um, it looks very, very dark, but you can definitely sheer this out. I would say this is probably a beautiful bronzing color for those with medium to deep skin tones. And um, I actually am probably a medium skin tone. And for me, this, um, if I use it pretty sparingly, I can use it more as a bronzer. I also love to use this um, on my eyelids as well as on my lips. It's a great lip color. So um, really, really beautiful. And the other shade that I picked up that was just released is in the color Magic Hour. And this looks a little bit um, sort of taupey, I guess I would almost say in here, but it actually goes on in a very, I'll try to put a little bit on and see if you can even see it. Um, it goes on almost like a highlighter. It has a little bit of 
um, shimmer in it and it's got like just this beautiful kind of peachy golden tone that just adds a little something extra to your skin. I always like to take it down my nose as well. Um, but yeah, it's just a really pretty kind of brightening product for the face. You could definitely use it all over. You could use it um, as a highlight as I have been or for fairer skin, it may give you a little bit more color. But on me, I really love to use this product as a highlighter and I think it's absolutely amazing. I think of all the products I've tried from Jones Road Beauty, the Miracle Balm for sure is not only my favorite, but I feel like there's nothing else like it on the market. It is a balm, so it is really nourishing for your skin. It smells amazing, feels amazing, wakes up your skin and makes you just look a lot healthier. And so I'm a huge fan. I also picked up um, the face brush from Jones Road that is this nice, um, dense brush that's great for cream products and great to use even if you wanted to use it with the Miracle Balm. I like to use my fingers with it, but um, I figured this would be great to have. My next favorite for the month of August is a hair product that I picked up from Way. This is the um, leave-in conditioner with the scent of Byredo's Mojave Ghost, which is amazing. And I have this in my hair today. I've been using this in place of the hair oil. Um, I usually use the hair oil every day on my towel dried hair, but I've been kind of spraying a little bit of this in and it really does almost the same thing. Um, it gives you a little bit of moisture. It kind of locks in um, any kind of frizz or flyaways, things like that, that you would get when you blow dry your hair. And um, it smells amazing. You all know I have just recently discovered Byredo and um, I am obsessed with all of their fragrances and Mojave Ghost is one of my favorites. So when I saw that this was released, I jumped on it. I know I had missed out on the opportunity. I think it was last year, could have even been the year before when um, Wei did a dry shampoo with Byredo. I think that was also Mojave Ghost. So I missed out on that and this time I was I jumped right on it as soon as I saw it on Sephora. Um, I'm sure this is probably available on Waze site as well, but um, yeah, definitely a favorite for this month. And along with that, I did treat myself to a fragrance this month. This is um, Byredo's Mojave Ghost. And um, this is something that I did have a travel size version of, and I just loved it so much that I decided to get one. It is very sweet. Um, and a little bit deep and just glorious. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And I think it's kind of perfect for exactly the time of year that we are in right now as we are transitioning into fall. Um, I definitely feel like this will be a beautiful fall fragrance, even here in Florida where the leaves aren't changing, but <laughs> um, it's just a really, really pretty fragrance and like nothing else that I have in my fragrance collection. And the bottles are absolutely beautiful. This is my first bottle of Byredo and I'm sure it will not be my last. In terms of fashion, I'm not really sure what to expect yet for the fall here in Florida, so I haven't really purchased a lot of clothes, but I did purchase a couple things on Zara um, on the website that I had seen somebody wearing on Instagram and I had to have them and this is one of those impulse purchases that is completely um, impractical right now, but I, you'll see what they are and maybe you'll understand why I needed to have them, but they are these um, heels that have this beautiful, um, these beautiful crystals on them. And I just was so, so excited about these. I don't know why. I think it's a little bit of being, you know, in the house so long with COVID and um, not really being able to go out anywhere. So I really have nowhere <laughs> planned to wear these. However, I know the holidays are going to come and I do live in Florida where I can wear open-toed shoes and I will find an occasion to wear these even if it's just around my house. I don't even care. I just thought they were so pretty and um, they were, I wanna say about $50. So yeah, a lot less money than the Jimmy Choo forget the name of those but I'm sure you all are familiar with the Jimmy Choo crystal shoes that are just like to die for that one day I will get my hands on but right now I have nowhere to wear them and I didn't want to spend that kind of money on something that I wouldn't wear so I ended up purchasing these in the nude color first and loved them so much that I went back on the website and um, I did have to wait for this other pair because they didn't have them in my size but when they came in stock I got them but these are in 
the black as well. Um, I just thought they were such a cute shoe, so super comfortable. They're just the right heel height for me. They're probably about an inch and a half to two inches, which is kind of perfect for my five foot three frame that doesn't do that well in heels. And especially after, you know, years at this point of not wearing heels, um, there's something about these that just felt really special and I just needed to have them and I don't know why. So, um, and I'm not even kicking myself over it. It wasn't like a, a impulse purchase that I was feeling bad about later. I didn't spend that much money on them and I feel like there will be an occasion at some point where I will wear them. And if I don't, I will see. But um, anyway, that is another one of my favorites for the month of August. And my last favorite for the month of August is a handbag. And it isn't so much about this handbag as it is about this category of handbags, which would be vintage handbags. And in particular, this vintage Chanel bag that I purchased last month on Poshmark that I have been absolutely loving. This is the Chanel um, small classic flap in the black lambskin leather with um, the gold hardware and this is the 24 karat gold hardware this bag was in such amazing condition and for the price that i paid for it i know vintage chanel is even more expensive now as the prices of chanel have gone up and i really can't see myself ever getting a classic flap new at the store i have some classic flaps that are newer and um i am very happy with those and i just feel like there's something about vintage handbags. Not only was the quality better, but I feel like they kind of have have a story and they add a little bit more character to an outfit. And I've just become such a huge fan of vintage handbags. And I definitely think going forward, I could see myself purchasing more, especially Chanel, because the pricing at Chanel for new handbags, especially the classics, which are the ones that I love the most, um, is just like way out of control. And I will tell you, I don't even love the experience of shopping um, in, the higher end sort of luxury shops. I know for some people that's a big thrill, but I am like, I don't know what it is, but I have never really felt comfortable going in there. And while I am super happy with my purchase, it's not something that I really enjoy. It's sort of like car shopping for me. You know, I'm happy at the end when I get the car, but the process of it is not one that I really enjoy. So I don't know what that's all about, but I will tell you that I just really enjoy shopping vintage, whether it be at a consignment store um, or online. It's like the thrill of the hunt to find something that I consider to be such a treasure is um, what makes it really special for me. And I don't really need all of the, um, you know, experience that goes along with the luxury shopping. So those are all of my August favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And otherwise I will see you all soon in my next one. Bye.